so to start this look off, um, I just got out of the shower. I have my little mirror here, so if you see me looking over here, that's why. Um, I just got out of the shower and I have my chapstick on and I have my under eye cream on, um, but I do not yet have my moisturizer on. So the moisturizer that I've been using is this one. Um, I switched to this after using the Neutrogena one. Um, and the Neutrogena one, for whatever reason, it was the one for like sensitive skin. Um, I really don't even have sensitive skin, so I don't know why I used that. Um, but it actually burned my under eyes really, really badly. And it sometimes would like burn my cheeks right here. So I switched to this and I really like it. Um, but it has SPF in it, which is awesome, but it leaves a white cast on my face. And my body is a little bit darker than my face so i'm going to mix this moisturizer with this tinted moisturizer by tarte and this is the amazonian clay bb tinted moisturizer and it also has an spf in it which is awesome so what i like to do and obviously this is way too dark for my skin so i like to go ahead and mix it with my other moisturizer i'm going to take like that much and then I'm gonna take like a half of a pump of my moisturizer and just mix those together. And literally, I mean, you could put this on with a um, brush or a beauty blender, but I like to use my fingers to make sure it's like really getting into my skin because this is a moisturizer and I want it to really sink into my skin so that it will serve its purpose really well this does have a sunscreen smell i don't notice it throughout the day but i definitely notice it um as soon as i put it on and it really doesn't bother me spf is super important for your skin so i will take it um i will take the smell of the sunscreen over not protecting my skin any day so, um, and then I do like to take moisturizer and put it on my neck to prevent any aging. I just drop that there. And sometimes I will mix my um, tinted moisturizer with my regular moisturizer and put it on my neck. But today I'm just going to do a little pump of the regular and put it on there. So anywhere where it looks a little bit streaky, um, I'm going to just kind of pat it into my skin. And that just added a glow. It didn't add a tan. It didn't look, it doesn't look um, orange, but this is what it looks like. You can st still see all of my freckles, which I really like, um, but it just added a glow. And now my face matches my body a little bit better. So now that that's done, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I don't, I like this concealer for the price that it is. For some reason, I think I just have really sensitive under eyes um, because sometimes this burns my under eyes a little bit, but if you're not very sensitive, I think that this would be a great concealer for you. So I'm going to put it on my under eyes and then I've got a little breakout right here and a little one over here and I've got some redness around my nose and I didn't put much on at all. That kind of looks like it, but... I promise it's, I did not put it on heavily whatsoever. And I'm going to take this Real Techniques buffing brush. I think it's called the buffing brush. Yeah. And I am just going to buff that out. If you are more of a beauty blender girl, or if you want to make this super quick, quick and just use your fingers by all means, you could absolutely do that. And that is the difference. Again, you can still see some of my freckles covers up some of that blue purpley color that I have going on under my eyes and one reason why I really like using the brush is because I feel like it blends it out really 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 quickly and whatever I have extra I'm just going to put it kind of off the tip of my nose to reduce some of that redness that I have up there you can even put it in between your eyebrows if you have redness right there um, but that is it. So I'm going to take the, what's it called? Um, what is that setting powder called? Oh, the RCMA loose setting powder. 
I have it in this number seven container because I don't like the packaging of the RCMA powder. So I'm just going to take a, this is the e.l.f. small tapered brush. I'm going to dip that in, get off all of the excess and set wherever I crease. I really crease under my eyes no matter what kind of concealer I have on. I'm also going to put a little bit right here because I get some larger pores and I feel like that helps to reduce those a little bit. Not reduce them, but reduce the appearance of them. And then put it under my eyes, around my nose, put it at the top, the tip of my nose because I do get oily right there. Um, I'm going to put it on my forehead because I do have some forehead lines. That helps to not crease as much there. And I'm also going to put it on my smile lines. And I'm really making sure that I have all the excess off of my brush so that it doesn't look cakey. That's that. My towel is falling off my head. I will link my robe in the description box down below. I don't know if any of you watch Bonnie Helene or Ellie Meekum. Or Ellie and Jared, that's their channel. But her and her sister, Ani, Ani. Bonnie and Ellie created a clothing line and um, this is their rope that they created and it's fantastic. So I got this in my Ipsy bag this past month and this is by Sugar Cosmetics, I think. This is the packaging um, and it is called Peach Peak and it is my most perfect blush color. It is so good. You don't have to have this. I like it because it's more like of a natural color. It literally is like perfect. It gives you that awesome sun-kissed look. But what I've been using for literally months is this Flower Beauty pa Palette. And it's called Beauty Flash Full Face Palette. I love this palette. It has everything that I need personally. These two blush colors are perfect. I most of the time will combine those. And then I use this as an eyeliner. I use that as a crease color. If I feel like putting on highlight, this is a great everyday highlight. This palette is seriously a perfect everyday palette. And um, if you don't have this blush or you don't wanna go out and buy it, I have no idea how much it is. This palette is great and super affordable. So you could always use this. Um, but today I am going to use this because I super love it. So I'm just going to take a really big powder brush. This is an e.l.f. brush as well, and it's called the Complexion Brush. And I'm just going to dip it in here, tap off all the excess, and put it on the apples of my cheeks at first, and then I'm going to drag it back. That looks awful. Don't worry. We're going to blend it out. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm actually, it's better to hold the brush at the end and do very light motions. You don't want to put too much pressure because you don't want to ruin the base that you've put down. And you also don't want to um, have any harsh spots of the blush. I'm really trying to blend out the edges. I'm just going in circular motions. I'm trying not to rub all the way down here. I also don't want to rub all the way up here. Really focusing this on my cheeks. Look at that color. It is so beautiful, so natural. I love it. Do the same thing to the other side. Beauty hack um, is to take your blush and run it very lightly on the bridge of your nose just to kind of even out the blush color on your face and it gives you a super cute sun-kissed look so now that that is done um i'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows i've been using this brow gal palette for a long 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 time i believe i got this in a boxy charm box um i think actually a couple years ago and i use it just because i have it i'm too much of a cheapy to go out and buy something else someday i would love to have the brow gel by um benefit cosmetics and you know someday I will just break down and buy it maybe that day will be after I've used up this whole 
color but until then this works just fine for me um and the brush that i'm trying to find came with it i like to do my brows super super quick um i don't do anything dramatic my brows have some shape they don't i mean really more than anything they just need to be filled in so that's what i do i just go in the areas where it needs a little bit of love and i apply it in the direction that my hair grows my eyebrow hair grows i'll brush it out a little bit i am by no i'm awful at doing my brows i've always been bad at it um which is why i kind of like the more natural look anyways because if you screw up it doesn't look too noticeable gonna do <laughs> my hair is really not wanting to stay in the towel maybe if I <laughs> struggle is real okay so I'm gonna take this um, voluminous lash paradise mascara and I believe this is by L'Oreal yeah by L'Oreal there we go and do just a couple of coats on my top lashes I don't love putting mascara on my bottom lashes I feel like it makes my eyes look weird I don't know it's just me this is a very natural look but you could easily make it look um, a little bit more I don't know not dramatic but you could add stuff to it to make it look not as natural so sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of color in my crease and it could be as easy as adding whatever blush color you used and just doing a light sweep of that through your crease. You could do a little bit of bronzer. You could do um, any kind of natural color that really complements your skin tone and put that through your crease. Um, a lot of times I will add a brown eyeshadow like I have here in this palette. I will add this color right here on the outer edge of my lash line and that will be like my eyeliner and it looks um, a lot more natural than using like a liquid eyeliner and sometimes I will add a highlight and that Im immediately amps it up and so sometimes like what I'll do is I'll wear this look during the day while I'm at work and then if I have date night with Alex that night I can literally come home touch up my blush run a quick color through my crease and add some shadow to the outer edge of my lash line and a little bit of a darker lip gloss or lipstick and call it a day and it instantly looks different so the last step that I'm gonna do my last step is to add a lip gloss or just to stick with my chapstick right now I just have Vaseline on my lips that's literally my favorite chapstick that um, I use my other favorite is Carmex and pretty basic um, I got this in my ipsy bag this past month as well and I love this color this is sheer rose and it is um by pixie I don't know if it's called pixie beauty pixie by Petra I don't know it's the pixie beauty line and I believe it's at Target I'm not sure where else it's at but I have seen them everywhere and I've heard really good things about it and this lip gloss is fantastic. I actually think that it's a lip plumper. I mean it does tingle my lips a little bit but it's nothing that's uncomfortable. But this shade, I mean I know it looks a little bit dramatic. It's actually a little bit sheer and it's just the perfect color for me. So. You could always put a lip liner on underneath of this. And make it a little bit more dramatic. It would be really beautiful on top of a super nude lipstick with a little bit of a darker lip liner. Um, and it's also great just by itself as a natural 
looking lip gloss. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm actually going to go do my hair and film a hair tutorial. And if you haven't already seen that hair tutorial, go check it out. It is how I curl my hair with a wand while it's short. And um, it's a very highly requested video. So if you have not yet checked that out, go ahead and check it out. I will leave the link in the description box down below. But I will show you guys this final finished look once I'm finished. Okay, I just filmed the outro of this hair tutorial. So if you have not yet seen the video on um, how I do my curls with a wand, go check it out. Again, the link will be in the description box down below. So this is the final makeup look. Um, this is seriously the best go-to makeup look ever. I love it so much. There's so much that you could do with it and I think it would work for just about everybody. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. As I've mentioned before, um, I'm almost at 500 subscribers, so I will be doing a giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so that you can be a part of the giveaway. Um, and make sure you are following me on Instagram because I might be doing the giveaway there. I'm just not exactly sure what all of that's gonna look like. So here's my Instagram name. Go follow me on there. Subscribe here and be part of the Haley Giddings YouTube family. Um, I love you guys so much. I'm so happy that you watched today's video and I